Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to ReZero Season 2, Episode 18. And in the last episode, we finally got to visit Amelia's past for real this time. Before, we were given little snippets and little pieces of her past, and now we're actually getting to spend the day in the life of Little Amelia. And not gonna lie, Little Amelia is probably one of the most adorable characters in anime anime as I'm sure all of us can agree however apparently this like scene or this part of her life that we're experiencing is supposed to be a darker moment in her life and I think we're just about to find out why but anyways we start off with Amelia inside of her home and we get to meet her aunt Fortuna who lets us know that I guess Amelia's parents aren't with her for whatever reason. We have no idea what they're doing. And on top of that, it seemed like Amelia was kind of confined within her home. Like she wasn't supposed to leave. All she could do is just kind of sit there and like draw. But then one day, a fairy came up to her and kind of showed her this little secret passageway that she could take that would help her sneak out of the house, and so she did. And once she snuck out, we got to see Fortuna speaking with a very familiar character that we all know is Juice. but this is before he like turned all green and crazy and he actually seemed like a pretty cool dude so i'm really interested in finding out like why he turned out that way and i'm sure we'll find out soon but anyways amelia kept sneaking out every single day and eventually Petal juice ended up catching her and from that moment i guess amelia's aunt kind of let her slide whenever she snuck out because i believe the scene or the episode ended with a uh, fortuna Petal Juice and Amelia, I think they were like playing tag or something or hide and seek, something along those lines. But anyways, before we get to there, Amelia snuck out one time with her fairy and she bumped into this strange black door. But luckily the door was locked because God knows what is waiting behind that door for us. And I'm so glad Amelia didn't crack it open to find out. So if we fast forward, we go to the scene where they're all playing tag or whatever, and then Regulus finally makes a return or I guess he makes his appearance because this happened before season 2 episode 1 which is where we actually get to see what Regulus is capable of and it seems like he can just kind of rip anything in front of him to shreds. I'm hoping that nothing bad happens but obviously we know that this is a dark memory from Amelia's past so something bad is bound to happen and I guess we'll just have to find out in this episode. So if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like it would help me and the video out so much more than you might think so if you could take the time to do that real quick I would very much appreciate it and also consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly ReZero reactions. But with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode all right so real quick before we get into the video in this reaction i'm going to be trying a new reaction style which can hopefully make the reaction enjoyable through just this video alone however of course due to copyright i'm going to have to do some censoring so if you'd like to enhance your experience or add a little bit more magic to the reaction i have some recommendations for you guys the first one as you can expect is going to be to watch this through the picture in picture style and this is very easy to do on PC and it's also possible to do on mobile as well if you're doing it on PC then this is how I do it at least when I watch reactions what I do is I go on Google Chrome and I use the extension floating player and with that literally all that I have to do is go to the source anime video website that I'm watching click the extension button and then it gives me a little pop-up then I just drag that pop-up in front of the YouTube video and it should look something like this for you guys this way you can see the whole anime you can hear the whole anime and all you have to do is just press play as soon as the countdown starts however the second recommendation is to please head on over to the cloud crowd public discord there i will have free uncut reactions for you guys so that you can watch my reactions with the anime all in one place so if you like to do that head on over to the discord but anyways i will not take up any more of your time hope you guys enjoy the reaction and without any further ado let's get straight into it all right so whenever you guys are ready make sure to grab your source videos pull them up and then get ready to sync them with me because we will be starting episode 18 in three two one 
go. All right. We're back outside of the trial now. Yep. Oh, dang. Yeah, she's speaking as if these are going to be her final words. Oh. The memories of Ryuzu Meyer. Meyeru. Okay. Dang, so we're going way back. Dang, another flashback? Holy crap! We just went from Amelia's flashback and now we're going to the Ryuzu's flashbacks. Oh, what? What is she doing here? What the heck? Wow. Man, I don't know how far into the past we are, but do you think this is before Biko formed her contract? Oh, I take it that's a no. Dang. Echidna. Wait, she didn't do anything. Come on, you should take that as a compliment, Biko. She was captivated. <laughs> Dang, that's a good point. Oh, wait, no. Maybe this is before the contract. Because the contract pretty much, like, bound her to the library, right? Or I guess it told her to wait in the library. Oh my gosh. Oh my, what did a kid to just tell you, Biko? <laughs> you can't talk to people like this. Man. Look at her with that wide stance of dominance, too. She is, she is not playing around, man. Let's see, is she gonna do it? I feel like she's not. Wait, really? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, these are the the um 
This is her tsundere nature coming out here. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're kind of asking for a lot there. <laughs> oh, but she she agreed. Wow. Maybe Biko's always been waiting for a little friend she could hang out with. Oh man, the man himself. Whoa, he's so much younger here. But he sounds the same, what the heck? <laughs> Dude. I mean, he looks like a teen right here. But he sounds the same. Several generations ago, Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, oh boy, have we. <laughs> we have uh, quite the experience with Echidna. <laughs> I guess we can see why. I wonder if Biko knows about what happened to the original Ryuzu. The true reason. Dang, man. We are getting all of our answers revealed here. Everything about Amelia's past, about the truth of the sanctuary. Man. Regulus. <sighs> Oh man, we got the boss music in the background. <laughs> oh man, someone's about to throw down here. Who is this? I ordered him to. Who? Have have we met them? Who the heck could that be? She came here of her own will. Hmm, I'm trying to think of who this could be. Oh, hey, she's not having it today. I like this side of her. Whoa, whoa, don't throw everything at her at once. I mean, I guess that is smart. Striking first before she can get you, but you don't want to exhaust yourself too early. Oh no. God. Look, completely unfazed. 
so dang i'm trying to think is hmm i don't remember exactly what their titles are regulus said he was an archbishop right and the greed guy we saw in episode one was an archbishop too right so would she be another archbishop of some other sin or my other guess is that that could be the witch of envy and maybe she like changed her look or something i don't know because she does kind of vaguely look like amelia And here we go. Oh, what's that? Oh, is this how it happens? Whatever the heck is in that box? Have a good journey. What does that mean? We're not going anywhere. Well, hopefully we're not going anywhere. Oh, man. What? Wait. Flugelsama. Yeah, that looks just like the thing that was inside of Subaru that gave him the um, invisible providence ability. She's applauding him. She's crying too. So this must be how he loses himself. Oh, what? Oh, snap! He was not ready for that. Dang. So this leads me to believe now that um Subaru might be pride dang Wow. He's willing to throw his life away here to protect them. Look, we see his eyes bleeding. Ah! What is that? Oh. Okay, that was like... The black tendrils like going back inside of him. The title of Sloth. But she granted it to him. So she must be in some position of authority to grant those titles to people. Ooh! Dang! And he's back. I knew he wouldn't be dealt with that easily. Dang. Ooh, oh my god. Okay, that's creepy. The way he just twisted it back was creepy. <laughs> and look. A stalemate. Hmm. I mean, can we even do anything? Oh. Some sort of sign. Oh my, your insufficient brain. Oh my god. <laughs> Calm down, Echidna.
where you and your mother fled. Or is she just referring to Fortuna? God, just listening to this hurts. So wait, was, well, I don't know, man. A part of me is thinking, like, was she really her mother? But I guess... She's just saying that because Fortuna raised her. Yeah. The seal. So that's why he came here. Not for us, necessarily. The world will end. Dang. Well, the world didn't end, so I'm guessing she succeeded. Dang, you got this, Fortuna. You gotta do what you gotta do. Man. None of this is fair, dude. Why does Regulus have to be so OP? What the heck? Man, this is, uh, this is a bit much, man. <laughs> Dang. And she knows the value of a promise now. Or I guess the meaning of a promise. Leah, hold on, wait a second, wait a second, hmm, interesting. Dang, oh my god, okay. I might be wrong here, 
I might be wrong here, but didn't Puck? No, no, no. Wait, I hold on. Never mind. Never mind. I was about to say, didn't Puck call her Leah too? I don't know, man. My brain is scrambled, dude. Because isn't Puck a dude? Like, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Man. Oh my- Whoa! Who was that? Oh, that does not look good. The black serpent. Oh snap! So we've met all three now. Smart. Oh dang! Holy crap! That is some quick thinking, dude. He knew he would have been done for if he left that leg attached so the black serpent isn't even a serpent you gotta get the heck out of here amelia you won't be alone What a legend, man. Now he's gonna face the serpent himself. Man, and look at it. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, wow, it didn't even work. Wow. Even though he cut his leg off, it looked like, or it looks like it's still coursing through him. Oh, dang. He gave him the cruise treatment. So, like, strength-wise, they're even, right? But the difference is this new power that um, Petal Juice has is putting a lot more strain on his body. Just to keep up. Oh, not so fast. And he didn't expect that either. Dang, because he easily could have blocked it, but we caught him slipping. And that's why we came back. God. Pandora Sama, we finally get a name. Wow, she's sparing us. Sounds like it. Oh, she's fighting back? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way she's dead that easily. Dang, she rolled up to the scene like she owned the place. Like she was above Regulus. Now I'm starting to think that maybe they were like allies.
Damn. And you'd think, like, from the way he's acting, you'd assume he was wrath, not greed. See, I knew it. There's no way she's gone that easily. And look, she shut him down real quick. <laughs> Dude, look at his face. Oh my god. Dude. Should not be here. What? What? What the heck? He's gone! Even the crater that he left in the ground is gone. I'm so- <laughs> I'm so just blown away right now. Wow! Did she just rewind time? Hmm. I wish to command you. Wow. Yeah, I think if I were in their position, I'd, like, have the same attitude. I'd rather die than, like, have someone control me and, like, use me as their puppet. Dang, oh my god, wait, hold on. The hands, that's Subaru head. Dang, the day... Petal juice left. Bring the key and seal here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, you can't really blame her, but you. Ah, oh, man. I mean, we know it's not good for her to do this, but... I think this is what she believes is the only way she can save everyone. And the spirits are back. Lead the way. And this music, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> This is like Amelia's Time to Shine type of music. Look, all the fond memories. Dang. Gosh. And here she is. In front of the door. Oh! They're both there. And she's been waiting! Okay, what the heck was this episode, dude? So we know that her name is Pandora. And it seems like she has some form of, like, time manipulation powers. Because we've seen her get messed up badly, I think twice. And she came back as if nothing happened. On top of that, she, like, drove Regulus into the ground. So he was buried up to his neck. And then he was just gone. She said she got rid of him. He was gone and the crater was gone. And also all the damage that he did was reversed. 
So if she does have some sort of power that lets her rewind time, um, or just like play with time as she pleases, then it wouldn't be too surprising for her to like be here and be expecting Amelia because I don't know, maybe she could see into the future or something and she knew that Amelia would uh, come here after hearing what she said. This was such a dope episode, man. But there's so much to like digest here because I'm guessing if Pandora's here alone, she's, no, what? Dude, this is so weird. Because I was gonna say, I'm guessing that Petaljuice and Fortuna are dead. But we know that Petaljuice comes back in the future and he bumps into Subaru and Otto. So, does that mean Fortuna's still alive as well? And if she is, is she another puppet just like Petaljuice was? But then we have the whole Leah situation, and I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's like a part of me in the back of my mind that's just screaming. Once she called Amelia Leah, my brain just started screaming like, wait, didn't Puck call Amelia Leah too? And on top of that, she said that she would always be with Amelia, even after they were separated. And on top of that, when, um, oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? Fortuna was probably uh, one of the people that were frozen in the future, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe. Oh my gosh. There's so much to digest here. I don't remember. Maybe she wasn't. But we know that Amelia and some other people from her family were frozen completely solid. And then someone comes in and saves her, and that person was Puck. Now, the question is... How the heck would Puck know who Amelia is without meeting her beforehand? Because that was Amelia's first time meeting Puck, but Puck was talking to Amelia as if she's already known her for a long time. So is Fortuna Puck? Like, I don't know, dude. And then after that, we have Petaljuice and we have his power, which is, well, he got it from that black box, whatever the heck was in there. And once he, like, took the power from it, we saw it looked like a bunch of, like, I don't know, it looked like a black tangled ball. And that black tangled ball was inside of Subaru as well. And on top of that, when Petaljuice and Fortuna were about to take on Pandora by themselves, we see the hands come out. The same hands that came out of Subaru's stomach. So I'm just so lost right now. <laughs> I have no idea what the heck is going on, but clearly we're like, we're starting to get pieces. We're trying to figure out this puzzle and we're starting to get more pieces. Now we have no idea what the heck this final picture is going to look like, but we're getting pieces that'll help us find out soon. So man, I'm going to... Ooh, coming up with a question of the day is gonna be a struggle, man. I guess my question of the day will just be, what are you guys' theories after watching this episode? Because I feel like we saw a lot. We got so much information, so many hints, but no, like, clear explanations yet. So let me know, what are you guys' theories that you've kind of gathered after watching this? Because we also got to see the Black Serpent as well, and... There's just so much, so much from this episode. And we also have the flashback from uh, Ryuzu and uh, Biko. So let me know if you guys have any theories that you've kind of come up with after watching this. Feel free to post them in the comments section underneath the question of the day comment that I'll leave. But man, with that, <laughs> I'm going to leave the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this far. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts on that episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shona content. And with that, I am going to head out. So I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.